Hi guys, Kavita here again with another healing video for you today. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just keep in mind these videos are general. So if you're after something a bit more specific for your needs, check out the description box below. There's details there because I do offer different levels of services. But today's video, oh, and I always forget to say this, there will be a timestamp below to where the healing bit actually starts if you want to bypass this intro bit because this is where I talk about the reasons why I'm doing this video and what they're sort of giving through for me about the need for this and kind of the flow and effects you might experience as a result of this. So check out the timestamp below if you want to bypass that. Okay, so this video is designed to strengthen your boundaries and help you to feel okay in saying no. I feel there's a lot of lovely, good-hearted people out there who feel that they can't say no. And if they say no, it makes them a bad person. That's actually not the case. And this is this healing is designed to help you strengthen those boundaries so that you can claim sovereignty over your body, over your energy. You don't have to be chasing around after, after other people, whether it's family, friends, or whoever, colleagues. It's, you know, you are allowed to say no and say no with a full heart. No matter what the reaction is that you get, you are entitled to say no. You do not have to give over your energy, your time, your money, whatever it is. You do not have to give it over to someone or something else. So my intention for this healing is to help strengthen your ability to do that and to strengthen your boundaries so that, yeah, you feel confident in doing that. Okay, so if that resonates for you, just keep watching. <laughs> All right, so allowing yourself just to get into a relaxed state of being, you know, whether you want to be sitting down or lying down, that's up to you. Giving your body permission to receive this healing, I think, is important. You have to be willing and be open to receive the healing as well. Feel free to close your eyes or have them just go into a bit of a daydream soft focus. Allow yourself to take three deep breaths into your belly, noticing the rise and fall of your chest. Noticing the rise and fall of your body. Feeling the support of the bed or the floor or the couch or the chair, wherever it is you are. Feeling your body being held and supported. Allowing your breathing to continue to open a portal of light above you. And we welcome in our galactic and angelic friends, our ancestors who are well, willing and able to provide guidance and protection for us here today. We welcome in the members of the Galactic Federation of Light and their beautiful healing frequency and guidance. And we welcome in your higher selves and all frequencies that are here for our highest and best good. We welcome in the beautiful high frequency beings that travel along by our side every day protecting and guiding us on our journey. As we create a safe, sacred space for you now, wherever you are in the world, Surrounding you in a beautiful gold light. And we invite your mind to relax. We invite your mind to let go of control just for a few minutes. Asha, asha, asha. We invite your body to be open to receive this beautiful light that's coming down, entering your auric field. Allow 
holding high frequency energy, allowing that energy to move into your cellular structure, every molecule in your body holding a high frequency of light. Allowing this high frequency energy to cleanse, clear and release the physical and energetic bodies of anything that is of a lower energy, of an old energy. Anything that is not even yours in the first place. Any stories, judgments, any rumors and opinions that don't belong to you, allow them to be cleansed, cleared and released from the body. Now connecting your lower chakras to the earth's crystal grid for grounding and safety. To help improve your ability to feel strong and stable in your own body. And grounded. Now focusing on your knees. As we cleanse, clear and release the imprints of others and the seeds of this behavior, the inability to say no without feeling bad, which no doubt came in your childhood, and be stored in your knees. As through all areas of space and time, we cleanse, clear and release these imprints, these stories, these memories, these words that had us feeling bad and judged when we first learned to say the word no. Cleansing, clearing and releasing, cleansing, clearing and releasing. As we clear anything that has its origins in fear and hate, that has you limited in your ability to maintain boundaries, Get 
и сега като около тук, да от тук, така, 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 Клето в лека, ако така, 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 stories of not being to stand up and speak up and say no Allow yourself to take deep breaths if that resonates with you. What do you say? Cleansing, clearing, and releasing any shifted energies that have stuck in your auric field. And strengthening your boundaries, allowing your auric field to become like a shield of titanium crystalline light. You're like Teflon, everything just slides off you. You are protected. If you feel the need to say no, you are willing and able to protect your energy first and foremost so that you're prioritizing yourself, whether it's your time, your energy, your money, your health, well-being, anything and everything. Seeing yourself almost coated in a crystalline Teflon energy that you can just call upon whenever you need. Allowing this shield of armor to be there to protect your boundaries, to strengthen your boundaries. Nothing that is not here for your highest good can penetrate this. Anything that has its origins in fear and hate will not be able to penetrate it either. Allowing to feel full hearted in your decision to say no because it's not right for you. Knowing that that does not make you a bad person, that you are perfectly entitled to have no in your vocabulary and feel okay about it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. So now just bringing back your energetic and physical bodies into alignment, connecting you to the crystal grid of the planet, and sealing the healing into your auric field and your chakras. Allowing you to be protected from this day forward. And as we thank all of these wonderful beings that came through for us today, we send them all back to their level, back to their level, and we close off this portal of light and return ourselves back into our bodies, back into the room, back to where you are. Allow yourself to take three deep breaths. Wriggling your fingers and toes and opening your eyes when you're ready. 
Okay, so that got a bit intense around the knees, which I'm kind of not surprised by. We tend to store a lot of stuff that happens to us in childhood in our knees. Um, so clear somebody out there, there's, there's a lot of stuff coming up to be cleared from childhood. Um, and I kind of got the feeling that it was actually multiple lifetimes of stuff. So, and that's, this is the thing, we've all had lifetimes where, you know, we've been slaves, we've been um, lower class citizens that haven't had a voice. We've been, you know, in cultures and societies where, you know, for whatever reason you weren't allowed to have a voice or even allowed to say no to your partners or society or the ruling class, whatever it is. We've had so many lifetimes in all of these roles. So, yeah, please be gentle on yourself for the next few days. This may actually bring up some deep emotions. Like you may not even know what is coming up, but I, I have a feeling that some of you may quite find yourselves a bit teary for the next couple of days. So please drink lots of water in the next 24 hours. Please be really gentle on yourselves over the next few days. Um, make sure you prioritize your health and well-being for at least the next three days. If that means, you know, having to drop out of your social commitments and things as much as you can just to have a little bit of a me time please allow yourself to do that if it means you know you're having a nap during the middle of the day do that if you find yourself feeling really tired let yourself sleep because the body is processing and it's going to put all its energy into releasing a lot of this old stuff because there was there was some old old deep things there that had to come up i find that usually when that clicking noise comes through that's when it's some really serious stuff is being cleared it's almost um the surgical precision that's being cleared because for me those clicking noises are actually the mantis bees who I find they don't always come through but when they do it's, they mean business and it, they come through to clear some serious crap out of your system that's in, in my experience but they're beautiful loving beings um, so thank, thank you guys for coming through anyway I'll love you and leave you there um, love to hear how this resonates or you feel during the session please comment like below you know share this channel if you think someone can use this to help them be strong within themselves share this video to them um, because i feel like there's a lot of good-hearted people out there who just for whatever reason um feel that they can't say no all right anyway i'll catch you guys in another video bye <laughs>